Hello guys, Paul is Best Free UK here and uh, I was going to show you something different, well it's not different but it's like a, another retro thing. You, you may all be aware that the Nintendo NES Classic that's just come out has sold out rather quickly in most places. So um, an alternative I think, yeah, it's not strictly um, the best alternative but is to use a, a, re, a real Nintendo original genuine system and I bought this. From AliExpress, it's Super Games 150 in 1. Uh, this is like a Nintendo cartridge, but well, it is a Nintendo cartridge and it's got 150 games in 1. So, yeah, so we'll have a look at it today. Put, put it in the machine. Oh dear, try that again. You know what the Nintendo's are like, they're a bit temperamental. Probably needs a bit of a clean. So, you are presented with this screen, I'll just turn the volume off. So this is the first screen you see. This cartridge cost about £11. So as you can see we've presented with plenty of games. I'll zoom in a bit so you can see. If I can get the tripod to cooperate. So Rockman 1 to 6, we've got all these games. You see the Ninja Turtles are on here, Contra's all on here, Super Mario Brothers 1, 2 and 3, Dr. Mario, the original Mario Brothers, all the Ninja Gaidens, all the Double Dragons, Castlevania 1 and 2, fortunately not 3, but all the Adventure Islands, Batman 1 and 2, you can see you've got Tiny Toon, Chip and Dale, Terminator, Terminator 2, Flintstones, Blaster Master, Lion King even, 1942 and 1943, Bucky O'Hare, so there's, there's so many on here, all the Donkey Kongs, Excite Boy, so yeah, so this is the ultimate cartridge, so in terms of the running, Get the tripod right. So, if I just uh, uh, well, let's have a look, shall we? I think I haven't really prepared this video. So, if I start, let's have a look at Rockman, which is actually basically Mega Man, and it just instantly loads, as you can see. I'm running this on a PAL NES. Oh, this is perfect Mega Man. It's a cheap alternative to owning the uh, actual games because obviously retro prices have made everything go up. If you're just a gamer then it's like an, an ideal situation. I always found these Mega Man or Rock Man games really difficult. And so, to exit out the game, you just press reset on the console. So basically, they've crammed all these games into one cartridge. Let's have a look at Rockman 4. I'm not going to go through every single game, but that would take an ice age. But yeah, so. I'll zoom in a bit more if you want. See if we can get. 
So yeah, so sometimes you get a bit Japanese in it, but it's perfect. Dust man. Oops, that wasn't too good, was it? Let's see if I can get a good, uh, a good picture. Yes, yeah, so there's plenty on here for all different kinds of games. Not every game is on here that you'll remember, but the majority are. There's now Zelda, unfortunately. That would be something else. As you can see, there's Gradius on here. Great fun from Gradius, Nintendo version. Whoops. So for 11 quid, you can't go wrong. I think it was about that, but that was the time I bought it. It might have gone up by then. Of course, Ninja Turtles is on here, or Hero Turtles as it was called in the UK originally. The, the, as you can see, the title's in Japanese, but it's still the same game. Sometimes the music can be a little slower. I think it's because it's... Uh, NTSC game running on PAL system possibly? I'm not quite sure. The trouble is some of them are in Japanese. Uh, I don't think you can change that. It's still the same game though. You just have to not redo really Japanese. Unless you can read Japanese of course, it's perfect. But. More pizza. Nice bit of pizza. And of course, because it's running on original hardware, it would be uh, just as fast. It's just the cartridge that's got the ROMs in it. It's still running on the real hardware. But no emulation here. Nice little game was Turtles. A lot of flickering goes on when there's a lot on the screen. That was quite common on these games. Have that. Have some of that. See the score at the bottom flickering. That's normal, that is, on this game. Mm. 
not doing too good if I'm honest. Got ya! He was in a half shell. I wish I could read Japanese. Said something like they have escaped to the dam or something if I remember right. thing about turtles is you can change your character halfway through at any time so have some that pizza there Keep jumping up here, you should be able to get up. I'm sure I did it once. Maybe I didn't. Anyway, that was Turtles, so yes, I just basically said to change game. Turtles 2 is on here as well. So, yeah, as you can see, some are in Japanese, some are in American or English, whatever. So, this is based on the arcade machine. This one's got a nice cutscene at the beginning. This one's more like a Streets of Rage style game. Love the I love the NES sound chip. It's so unique sounding. Have some of that. Can't change the characters midway on this one. The original NES controller is so great for these type of games. It just feels right. With button bashing. I'll try another one. Imagine having this cartridge back in the 80s. You'd be blown away. Or you'd be the envy of all your friends. I mean, I've got to show you Contra, of course. Contra's on here. Great game. 1988. That was a while ago. 1988. I was two, three, four, five, six, seven. About seven years old then. Six, seven years old. Classic NES style game.
Have some of that. Oh, you fucked. You keep going. Have that. Mind me of midnight resistance in a way this game does. Yeah, so that's Contra. Like I said, I won't be able to show you all of the games. Now, Super Mario Brothers 1, <coughs> I believe might be the Mattel version, because the music's noticeably so slower. Can you hear? So, yes, yeah, so it seems slower somehow. Yeah, so, yeah, so. Super Mario Bros. 1's on it. Of course, Mario Bros. 2 is on here. The uh, hour version of it, not the Lost Levels, the uh, English version. Start off falling there. I remember the original advert, advertising campaign for this game. Now you're playing with power. Have some of that. No, I can't reach it. Have some of that. Ouch. So that's my R2. And of course, a favourite by many people is on here. My R3. Some games might have the odd glitches here and there, but most of them are perfect. Like this one, it hasn't got the Mario Super Mario Brothers writing at the top. To be honest, ever since I got this cartridge, it hasn't been out the machine. It saves on wear and tear on the uh, Nintendo itself. Reinserting cartridges. We've got every game. The only games it hasn't got, like I said, is the Zelda games. So I might buy them separately. It hasn't got quite a few of us as well, but it's got some of the best choice. Definitely. So yes, yeah, so all the Mario games, are, well all them three Mario games here. Some of these are like Japanese games I've never heard of. You've of course got Ninja Gaiden. As you can see. Add that. Hmm. Ah. 
Kaja. Hab schon mehr? It can be a bit tricky to do some of these things. Garden. There's also games like Castlevania on here. Good old Castlevania. This was on the Amiga and DOS as well. And surprisingly, I think it was even on the Commodore 64. Good old Castlevania. There goes a sp sprite flickering again. A limitation to the 8-bit system. But yeah, it's great, li great little system is the NES. I do like it. Got fond memories of it from childhood as well. I did an own one back in the day, but for a friend with. Have some of that. So yep. Yeah. So that's Castlevania One. It's also got Simon's Quest Castlevania Two on here, I believe. Yep. Board, sir. I thought it was quite impressed the way the Nintendo fills the screen. I mean, there's a little, there's two little bar border bars at the top, and the bottom and top, but it's quite a full screen system, isn't it? And this is a PAL version. This is a PAL, PAL machine, sorry. There's no NTSC modding being done to this. I've actually uh, got the picture through uh, the side of the audio and video ports. That was another great thing about the NES, it had them as standard. Quite like the music in this game. Oops, so easy. So yeah, Castlevania is on here, perfect. We've got double dragon on here. Bit of double dragon for you. For some reason this bit flickers, I don't know if it's supposed to, or it's just this cartridge. But once the animation, once the intro has gone, it, it's okay again. Mission 1! A 
about that. Yeah, it does flicker a bit this one. I think it might be a problem with the cartridge, the way they've done it. Still playable though. Just seems to flicker when you scroll in, unless that's normal. I don't think it would be though. You have to let me know in the comments. Have some of that. Have that. That's Double Dragon. Yeah, there's far too many games on here to show. We've of course got Adventure Island, which is just like Wonder Boy. I lost my skateboard. To excuse that, so I scream man outside. So, yes, yeah, so it's got that as well. Got plenty of games. Five going your way. So, where did I get to? Yes, yeah, so we got. There's even Kirby's Adventure on here. There's G.I. Joe. There's Robocop. And we keep going. So yeah, so this is where I have a cop on here. One of my favourite games on the Nintendo is Batman, mainly because of the music more than anything. Ouch.
Oh, okay, got it. Skip all the baddies by jumping up here. At that point. Ouch. Ouch. Can skip a few of them that way as well. But we eventually get onto that one. No! Choose your weapon, fire some boom around you sitting right here. Have some of that. Yeah. There goes the ice cream man again. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. These are just, just keep firing it from there. And then if you get any closer than that, it runs after you, but <coughs> excuse me. Move on to the first boss. Pretty easy to be honest, but I haven't got that much energy, that's the only problem. See? <laughs> Few hits with the boomerang and he's dead. Get a nice little cutscene here. I like the music on this level. Look. Have some of that. Oh yeah, so, a bit of Batman there. I'll show a few more and we'll wrap this video up. Try Darkwing, another Capcom game. Oh, it's copyright Disney. Darkwing Duck. Can't seem to skip this. Ouch. 
Ouch. <laughs> so you get the idea with that. Uh, what else have we got on here? Surprisingly, Lion King's even on here. The uh, Nintendo version of the Lion King. Oh, I got killed. Right. Got nineteen forty three on here. Why Capcom? based on the coin up. So you get the idea with that. Shall couple more. Gotta shout Donkey Kong. 19, 1981 Nintendo. Donkey Kong for ya. Also got Big Dog. Oh, my God. 
Oh, you should have this on the Atari 2600. Yeah! I did it. Uh, what else we got? Excite Bike. This was the one with the track editor. Oops. <laughs> Excited bike. Great fun. Gallagher's on here, of course. Yep, so that's Gallagher, <laughs> very nice. Solomon's keys on here, Sky Destroyer. Duck hunts on here even, but oh, I haven't got the gun. And besides, it won't work on this television. So yes, I'd have to see 151 games cartridge. I forgot to show Cage, that's a pretty good game. So that is the uh, Super Games 151 game cartridge from AliExpress. Now at the time of purchasing this, I only paid £11 with free P&P to the UK. It, it took about 25 days to arrive, um, so it wasn't the quickest arrival. But yeah, it's from China, so yep. Mine was in a red case. I, I do believe you can get a battery back, back, battery backup version of this where you can save your games, but my version doesn't come with that feature. But yeah, so very nice cartridge. And uh, yeah, so there we go. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.